Watch the exciting moment Ukrainian forces launch precise airstrikes against designated Russian targets in an extraordinary display of precision bombing. This compelling visual narrative provides a glimpse into the dynamic and strategic power of Ukrainian forces in their persistent efforts to neutralize Russian targets through aerial precision bombing. This is one of the horrific moments when a powerful secondary explosion destroyed a Russian BMP infantry fighting vehicle after a brutal FPV kamikaze drone attack near Avdiivka. The initial detonation of the drone's payload was successful, immediately detonating all the fuel and ammunition inside, causing a fiery eruption. Chunks of debris, both large and small, were thrown in all directions, several meters from the explosion site. Another chilling video shows a Ukrainian drone dropping two bombs directly on a Russian army unit on the battlefield. Aerial footage shows the drone hurtling towards defenseless soldiers as they crawl through a field at an unspecified location in Ukraine. Their protection was immediately destroyed when an explosive device landed several meters from their position. The impact of the explosion threw a soldier backward. He appeared unable to move, but it was unclear whether the blast injured him. Ukrainian troops continued to bombard enemy forces along the front line. Among the various defensive tactics used by Ukrainian forces, drone bombing is one of the deadliest. In this video, Ukrainian troops attack enemy troops along the front line. This compilation video shows how Ukraine targeted Russian positions and destroyed hundreds of valuable Russian equipment on the battlefield. Another video also shows the epic moment of the attack on Russian armored vehicles. A pair of attacks targeted moving Russian APCs. The light armored vehicle was carrying a pile of Russian troops. They fired wildly at the incoming bomb drones, but failed to hit any targets. The attack was successful and likely resulted in heavy Russian casualties. Ukraine's armed forces also share an epic moment when one of Putin's multi-million pound tanks was completely blown up by a Ukrainian kamikaze drone on the battlefield. The deadly but cheap UAV stalked a Russian T-80 BVM battle tank in the frozen fields around the town of Avdivka, before pounding it dead and tearing it to shreds of flame. Video captured using a $500 attack drone shows how the drone zeroes in on a fast-moving target, chases it quickly, and then slams it straight into the target. In a matter of seconds, Putin's tank, which was worth more than $4 million, turned into a worthless scrap of metal. Over the past 24 hours, 63 clashes occurred on the front lines. Russian troops attacked on six front lines, but Ukrainian defenders managed to repel the attack. At the same time, Russia lost 850 soldiers, 6 tanks, 25 armored fighting vehicles, and 53 artillery systems, reported one of the Ukrainian media outlets Espresso. The latest video also shows a Ukrainian FPV drone destroying a Russian 122mm rocket salvo system in the Luhansk region. Video of the destruction of the equipment was shown at the 100th Separate Territorial Defense Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. To destroy the Russian anti-aircraft missile system on the ZIL-131 chassis, Ukrainian defense forces used FPV kamikaze drones. Destroying the 9P-138 Grad-1 launcher requires multiple drone strikes equipped with cumulative ammunition. Meanwhile, Britain will deliver more than 10,000 drones to Ukraine's armed forces, the country's defense minister announced during a visit to Kyiv, 
Azure News reported, citing Politico. The UK will send drones, most of which are first-person view drones primarily used for surveillance, as part of a new £325 million military aid package. According to the UK Ministry of Defence, around 1,000 of the 10,000 drones are one-way attack drones, while some are maritime drones. Drones have taken an outsized role in the conflict in Ukraine, both for surveillance and strike purposes, as well as helping to cover troop shortages in Kyiv. In February, Zelensky announced the new Unmanned Systems Force, a new part of Ukraine's armed forces that brings the military's use of drones under one command. Meanwhile, U.S. House Speaker Mike Johnson and the chairs of key committees are developing a bill regarding aid to Ukraine. In it, part of the non-military aid to Ukraine is proposed to be considered a loan. This was reported by NBC News regarding three sources of information. Currently, the plan is still crude and far from full implementation. However, the bill's authors hope the proposal can pass in Congress and will not alienate Republicans who oppose further aid to Ukraine. The bill stipulates that confiscated Russian assets can be used as collateral to provide loans. House Foreign Affairs Committee Chairman Mike McCall said the proposal would make Russia at least partially responsible for Ukraine's demise. The plan may also include a substantial repayment plan for the debt. Republicans are ready to consider the bill once U.S. government funding is approved. At the same time, the issue of financial assistance to Ukraine may be postponed until April, when the U.S. Congress will meet, a two-week recess at the end of March. A U.S. official familiar with the White House's position told reporters that this aid was better than no aid at all, but that it was not ideal. According to him, this loan will be a big burden for Ukraine because it could harm the country in the long term and cause an economic crisis in the future. The publication wrote that the best option for aid to Ukraine remains the $61 billion aid package, which the Senate approved in February and the House of Representatives declined to consider.